<clears throat> so welcome back to Two More Eight Yells. I'm Brittany. I'm Heather. And we are best friends and next door neighbors. And co-moms. With our husbands and yeah. Our five kids. Welcome to episode two. Hopefully you have listened to episode one and enjoyed it. <laughs> and actually a lot of people listen to it. <clears throat> More than I expected yeah, honestly, to listen to it. I wasn't sure if anybody gave a shit. I, I, a lot of people have, have said like, oh, I, I really loved it. And I'm like, I feel like that was not our best work. No, we're, that was very, was not peak wit. No. And it was not planned out. Mm-mm. But that's, that's true that's to our life. Yeah. yeah. We're not, we're not super organized. We don't know what we're doing, but we thought that you might enjoy that aspect of it. So we're rolling with it. We are. Um, yeah. So we, uh, like, like we said in <clears throat> last week's episode, we took a road trip, um, Sunday through Tuesday. And so, um, we were gone for a few days. We had a little bit of a momcation. Um, I guess not like a full momcation because we did take the baby. Um, so, but still, we didn't take the rest of the kids, just one of them. Right. And she, she was really easy. She was really good. Um, I, I'm already like, I don't, I don't want to parent. Like I came home and I was like, ugh. <sighs> yeah. I still have to do this. <sighs> I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. My kids were a wreck after me being like away. Oh, mine didn't care. I mean, your kids are regularly with their grandparents. So like, yeah, my kids were just mean and both of them melted down and told me how frustrating it was that it wasn't you or me that was taking care of them. And yeah, so. but it was a nice little like get get away. Like we yeah. went, my best friend from high school lives in Minneapolis. So this is the second time that we've taken uh, like a trip to like stay with her. And it's really delightful to stay with her because, um, I mean, it's just somewhere different for one, Yeah. but not only is it somewhere different with like lots of things to do. Um, she has a beautiful home with like a really nice guest room and your own bathroom and it's like a spa. It's better than the spa. But it's better than the spa because she also like plans like going out to dinner or somewhere like delightful that you've never been before and you wake up and you have coffee together and it's your friend. Like it's not, right. it's like a spa, but with a really good host. Yes. That you're she, friends with. She's incredible at taking care of people and, mm-hmm. and making sure everybody's taken care of and having a good time. And she's just, just delightful to spend time with. Yeah. It was really nice. So, so <clears throat> our excuse for going up there, aside from going to Katie's house of spa was, um, my, so my cousin, my cousin's wife, she's my cousin too, but, um, was in town for training. She's usually across the country. She's not your cousin too. Let's not. You don't have. A oh cousin. my god! You, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I want people to be confused about right. that. Okay, we're not from. We're we're not. That's not. You don't have a cousin. We have a terrible cousin. family, but we don't do that. <laughs> so my cousin married a wonderful girl. And so my cousin's wife is who we were visiting with. Mm-hmm. And she might as well be your cousin because you're really yeah, close friends with her. we are very close. Yeah. Um, tangent, side tangent, funny story. Uh, when I first met Melissa, um, I slapped her ass thinking she was my sister. It's, I, I met her and then five minutes later I ran past her and slapped her on the ass thinking she was my sister. So we violated her boundaries as an icebreaker. I did. I really, really did. Um, I was like, nice to meet you. I'm going to touch your butt now. (laughs) And we've been friends ever since. And she's wonderful. She is wonderful. It was so nice to be able to see both of them. It was a great excuse. And listen, we are not, we are not afraid to be a little bit selfish when we need or want something. Yeah. And we really wanted to have an excuse to like take a little bit of time away. And we have a lot of support. We have like wonderful husbands and good, like, you know, we can. And so we do. Yeah, so I mean, we we're saying we're not um, we're not afraid to be a little selfish when we need some time. Yeah, to advocate for our husbands might say we're not afraid to be a lot selfish if we feel like we need I some mean, time. I really don't think we are though. They just get mad because they won't advocate for their own me time. You're right. They're not good at it. They're not good at that. And and I think most moms are not good at it either. Mm-hmm. And I mean, we come from a place where a lot of husbands 
zip off for the weekend to hunt and fish and our husbands don't do that. That's true. My husband does that like one or two weekends out of the year. Yeah, and my husband does it none. Yeah. This this year he did one weekend of hunting. That was it. Yeah. And didn't he take the kids? Mm-hmm. Yeah. For part of it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, you have to advocate for your own me time, especially as a mother. I, I think people don't, mothers don't ask. They And, and when they do, it's, it's beyond the point of being fixed by just a weekend getaway. Right. Yeah, you have to ask before it reaches critical mass. And you know what? I, there, that whole, like, you have to ask, I also feel like you shouldn't have to ask the way that most people do. Right. Like, and when I say ask, I don't mean, like, ask for permission, but just, like, ask in that, like, I, you know, I need some actual <laughs> space, A long time. time. Yeah. Like, and unfortunately, you know, we realize a lot of people even if they did ask, don't have understanding about this, don't have the support that we have to take that time and space. Right. Because not only do we have great partners, we also have each other. Mm -hmm. um, I have like, my kids have some great grandparents that are always willing to take them. Um, so, you know, and that's, that's part of our whole like co-momming, co-family thing is for that sure. we don't just have our one partner because yeah. it's also really easy for just two people to get burnt out Absolutely. and to have a hard time trading off just between two people, giving each other enough like time to fill up your cup and to like fill up each other's cups right. and like, because it's not, you know, it's not just time for ourselves. It's also time like with, with our partners. Spouse. It's also time with just each other. Yep. Like, and we give them time. We to need all grow of that. out, you know. Sometimes yep. it takes. We have to push them a little harder. Yeah, you're right. Because um, they're not. They don't like to plan, um, you know. But they went out together for New Year's Eve, and we stayed home with the kids because yep. we didn't want to go out. They've been better about that in the last year, I think. Yeah, like, it's just, gotten better. Just the two of them, like going and like doing something. And I think a lot of that was them like being like, well, we do. We don't want to leave you both of you with just the kids. Yep. And, and we've, you know, we've shown time and time again, like, this is fine. Like, we'll let you know if it's not fine. Right. Yeah. Like we will say, we'll say something, but I think, you know, at least, and I, I have felt like, and part of what I recognized, you know, being good in my husband when I met him and like my idea of being a good partner is that you don't just make time for you together. You don't just make time for you as a family. You don't just, it's not, it's also that, that, that aspect of inconveniencing yourself for the other person to get just their needs. Yes. Just theirs. 100%. Not, not yours together. Just theirs. Right. Sometimes. Not all the time. That's just, then that's like, you have to balance it. But I think, like, to me, that's so, that's like the kind of relationship, the kind of love, not just romantic love, also friendship love platonic love platonic it's love. important it is it's important to be like you know, i don't want all the kids i don't want to do that i'm like no Ooh, you know what i want to do today is have all five kids by myself but i do want to do that just to give you or todd todd or nick the time that they want and to deserve do, and deserve to do something themselves without me I, I want to like we do lots of things together we have date nights with just our like separate relationships we yep. have date nights the four all four of us. of us together like we do those things too but we also all need like our own things and i think that that's important for balance and that's like something that we achieve probably like more readily than other people because of the way that we live our lifestyle yeah oh did we talk about in our last episode like so we talk, a couple of people asked me like on social media, well, what does co-family mean? And I, we talked a little bit about that and explained, you know, how we live our life and whatnot. But did we talk about, are we like, are we polyamorous? Are we swinging? We are did we, not. We, we didn't talk we about that. We get that, that did a lot. We? A lot yeah. of people. So if I'm you're sure all my friends from high school think that we're swingers. Like yeah. one of my friends when a little bit drunk was like, do you fuck her husband? And I was like, <laughs> nope. That's not, no, no, that's not what we're doing. No, um, we, uh, that's a fair question. I think our neighbors probably is, question, yeah. like, I think people online. And again, like I said, people were like, what does co-family mean? And I feel like the question behind that is, are you polyamorous? Are you, are you all together? We're not. 
are you having a big key party? <laughs> no, our like our marriages, our, our relationships with our partners are are completely separate. Right, we're not doing anything like that. Not that we don't believe in that and support it. We have a lot of friends who are. Yeah, um, honestly, we have quite a, we know quite a few people who are polyamorous. Um, and, and I think it makes sense. Yeah, I get it. It, I don't think it's just not our choice yeah. personally. Um, but yeah, just to answer that question. Cause I think a lot of people for sure seem like they wonder about it and not that I don't understand. I do. So yeah. yeah, I think that's, that's something unique about the way that we live like our family lifestyle and it really helps all of us. It's for very, sure. it's like, it's very productive and useful for all of us the way that we do that. And we all have to, and we all like try to take advantage of that, I think. And we're, I think we're all pretty good about like doing it for each other. We do it a lot. Yeah. You and I more just cause we're home more. Right. And our husbands are at work more, but, <laughs> but they're both pretty, yeah, they're both pretty good about stepping up to the plate. There was oh, yeah. a time when I, um, I had to do something or Todd and I had to do something and, um, the baby was pretty new and, and so I hired a babysitter and the baby's. Nick saw the babysitter oh, yeah. out in the yard and That's he said, right. did, did Heather hire a babysitter? And Brittany said, yeah. And, and he said, well, what did she do that for? Because <laughs> we genuinely, like, that's just how we do things. He was truly confused. Yeah, he was. He was like, why would she do that? And I was like, well, because of the time of the day and the baby's really fresh and new yeah. and like... Not a bad idea. It was. I think it was like. And it was right, also a short period of time. I think. Yeah, it was right in her witching hour. It was right in eighties witching hour, and I was like, nope, I'm not gonna impose my kids in that. Yeah. Um, not, that they, <laughs> not that they weren't here usually during the witching hour anyway. <laughs> yeah. No, but um. Yeah. So we had a nice little like getaway with just the baby, and it was delightful. Yeah. We did nice. do like some. Um, I thought we, you know, I think we were anticipating that we might do some of our podcast from the road um technical difficulties yeah that did not work out that well i mean i should know better first of all recording in car is really hard there's tons of background noise yeah um and then when we're there we're so on the go and busy and we have like lots of things that we want to cram yeah. in you do not stop in the city <sighs> no and no. i mean there are really important things to do there like eating at pf chang yes that was very important top of the list like Eat at P.F. Chang's, maybe pick your cousin up at the airport. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Maybe. But P.F. Chang's. If my P.F. Chang's is not here yet, she would understand. Yeah. She would know. It's true. We don't have a P.F. Chang's here. And, like, I mean, we realize it's not, like, the best restaurant It's not fine is. dining. No. But we don't have one here, and we like it. We it's, really like that kind of food. Yeah, and so lettuce wraps. <sighs> we always try to stop if we're somewhere that has a P.F. Chang's. And it was... Um, our waiter was impressed. I'm pretty sure he thought we were a competitive eater. Yeah, I put away two entrees myself and then some of what she ordered. Yeah, and I got two entrees and we had, myself. Yeah. And an appetizer each. Yeah. Yeah. I can, yeah, I can eat a lot. You're very good. Breastfeeding at appetite. And it's if, real. Yeah. You know, if, you, if you've been there, it's, yeah, can eat a lot of food. <laughs> oh, like that cake you made for my husband. Yeah. Cakes. I've already eaten like four pieces of it and I just made it last night. I know. I was impressed. I know. It is. It's impressive. <laughs> I don't think my husband's impressed. I mean, he was a little heartbroken. Yeah. I mean, he was like, wow, you, you made a cake for Todd's birthday. I didn't get a cake for my birthday. And I was like, listen, your last birthday, I just had a baby like two weeks ago. So no, I did not make a cake. You got a daughter for your birthday. So. Yeah. But I've definitely made cakes in the past. I also make him cupcakes for his birthday. It's true. His favorite cupcakes. Also, the Todd's favorite cake is better than sex cake, and I really like that cake. My husband's favorite cake is a chocolate cake with like plain white garbage frosting. Store bought frosting. Store bought frosting. Yeah. I don't like that. Neither do I. <laughs> and so to once again reference that we don't have a hard time being selfish. I wanted to make Todd's cake because I wanted some of it. And I'm yeah. not as inclined to make the cake that my husband wants because I don't want it. Because it's icky. Because it's gross. <laughs> he wants store-bought frosting and I hate that. I yeah. like everything made from scratch. Yeah, and like why would you want store-bought frosting when your neighbor is literally a professional baker? Yeah, it's just... Like, my frosting is the best frosting. Yeah, your frosting is the best frosting. So That's probably why we gained all that weight. When we met. Yeah. You know how couples get fat when they're happy? Yeah. That actually happened to us. Yeah, you're right. Like, when our relationship really, like, 
started to really hit its run because we eat together food is love for both of us yeah and so we just want to eat and then we like we talk about like we we trade off on our ideas about like what sounds really yes. good and so when i would have otherwise been at work or at home by myself not eating because i was busy or i like just didn't have somebody to be like hey you know what we should eat taco bowls and Paul probably lasagna do. and and then just so now it's yeah it's it became a problem i definitely gained 20 pounds i gained 30 pounds in like less than a year i'm not mad about it and i like went to the doctor and i was like <laughs> something's happening something's wrong and he's like you're happy she was like are you exercising and i was like what no should i be because i don't want to <laughs> so we uh look like boiled goose today we we wore makeup for like three or four days in a row. Yeah, we really put in all the effort for our road trip because we were pl going places and doing things. And, yeah. And you might expect that our first episode that was recorded on video would result in like looking like we put some effort into it. We're really tired. But we're very tired. And this is boiled goose version, which means we haven't done anything. No. We have not showered. We have not mm -hmm. put on any makeup. No, I just put my hair up in a ponytail. <laughs> like, um, we also decided to put on a touch of makeup when we were on our last day of the city because we thought we were going to film in the car, but again, not something that ended up working. Yeah. Um, and, and I said, you know, we should just put on a little bit of makeup and just, you know, do our under eyes and maybe just look like a slightly rested zombie. Yeah. So there's, there is an in between. There's, yeah. there's boiled goose and then there's full Michael Bolton. Right. But then there's slightly rested zombie. In the middle. Yeah. And I think, I think we're mostly boiled goose and slightly rested zombie. Yeah. And then every once in a while, we're full Michael Bolton. It's it's like your profile picture is full Michael Bolton. Yes. And your everyday real life is boiled goose. Yeah. Tagged photos. Yeah. Tagged photos. Yeah. Boiled goose. <laughs> or a target camera. Oh, Ooh, that does you dirty. Yeah, that's not flattering. <laughs> that's not cute. That's boiled goose. <laughs> so, so, yeah, we're just... But, um... Yeah, I mean, we're not <laughs> we're not an edited version of ourselves in any way and we're right. not and we're not going to be I I you know, I really enjoy like curated edited content like aesthetically when it comes to like people that I follow on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube or whatever, but we just don't have the energy or the time or the or the fucks to give this, about doing that. This particular recording has taken 4 hours. Mm -hmm. between nap schedules and interrupted <laughs> naps and kids coming up and saying he called me a fart and I had to check someone's butt for poop and it wasn't the baby. <laughs> so makeup just kind of takes a back seat, guys. So sorry if you were expecting some beauty queens. That's not That's, what's happening. I mean, every once in a while you will get that. Right. You saw Somehow. If you follow on our Facebook page, you at least got like a nice little clip of us singing Lonely Island. Oh, so on much Lonely So much of Lonely Island. We told you that we were going to be listening to it. We did. It was delightful. We're still the, doing it. The, yeah, the CD is still in my car and I listened to it on my way to and from work yesterday. My husband and I watched 40 minutes of Lonely Island. Just, was in just bed last night. Just rocking out by myself. Yeah. I just had sex and it felt <laughs> so good. I mean... Is it childish? Yeah. No. No, it is. I don't think it is. I think it is. That's our brand of humor. <laughs> it's my dick in a box. We're 13 year old boys. Maybe not yeah. 13. Maybe like 15. 19. Our sense of humor is wildly like inappropriate. Do you know so it might not really. Close my mind. <laughs> what? This entire time we've been recording, failed recordings and not, we have not dropped a That's What She Said. Oh, you're right. That I, is our yoga. I feel like we are doing our listeners an injustice. No, because you're right. That is like typically our most used phrase. It is our phrase. most used phrase. If we could record for you like throughout the day, the number of times that you hear that. I mean, we could. Is excessive. We could just set up a microphone and just let it ride and, just, and then pick out clips. Oh my God, that would take so long. It would. It would to edit. Like, I would be so frustrated. I would throw my computer. And honestly... I don't, yeah, I don't have the tension span or the interest in editing that much, like, recording time. We don't even, even our first episode, and hopefully this, well, this episode is going to take a little bit more recording, but, or a little more editing, but I didn't even edit our last episode very much. Like, 
and it was really funny because we were talking to my friend Katie that we were visiting and Heather had mentioned something about how our first episode we had an hour of recording that I <laughs> lost part of it and then edited down some of it and she was like and you talk for an hour no oh problem my, no we have a stream of consciousness the, all day every day this podcast could go on forever yeah the problem is not material or or us talking or us writing out of things to say because we haven't in four years it's interruptions by children and yeah. the need to eat and you know bathroom stuff yeah like but even then we never stop yeah no i'm like hey come in the bathroom while i poop yeah well, we would like to do a segment with you guys called Ask the Eels. We yes. would like your questions, um, your suggestions. We would like to, to know what you want to know about us because we get it that this is not typical. This is not something that you really see. Um, yeah. I mean, on my, I have like an established blog page and so many people like have questions and, and just immediately said upon me, just giving a brief synopsis. Yeah of like what our lifestyle is like and what we do. So many like moms were like, I need that. Yeah. Where do yeah. I get that? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's why we wanted to put this out there and talk about it because we're not the only ones we've like, we've heard from um, some people that have a similar setup, like setup and maybe not with the kind of physical proximity that we have to right. each other because that one's a little bit more difficult. Although we did, one of our friends was saying that they had that with a neighbor of theirs. Yeah. Um, and we're close with a couple of other girls yeah. who live in a smaller town and they're not neighbor neighbors like we are, but they're just a couple houses apart. Close I, enough. I I've yeah. I've never been to their houses. Who are similar. Yeah. And they're very similar and they co-parent and, and yeah. um, and so we're, we're going to have them be like a guest. Yeah. Like, like, we'll definitely have them on our show at some point. But yeah, we wanted to talk about that because we feel like this is definitely something that people like understand upon just a little bit of explanation of what it's like. Like other parents go, oh, okay. And, and we feel like there should be some conversation about it. Cause I think more people could cultivate it. Right. Um, like with, with talking about it, with realizing how much most of us need this kind of thing. Right. Um, and that we've just kind of lost it in our society. Absolutely. And, and you know, before I, before I met Brittany, when, when Jace was like an infant, he was like seven months old. Um, Todd completely gutted our bathroom to the studs and I can't handle that kind of chaos. i it just wasn't working for me. It was stressing me out and I had terrible anxiety. Um, and it was like the dead of the winter. And I called up my, my roommate from college and I said, um, can I come stay with you for like a week? Um, and she and her husband work and, and she was like, no, yeah, that's fine. And so I went and I lived with my best friend for a week. And it was the it was similar because you have, and Brittany and I talk about this a lot, women can anticipate people's needs. They can anticipate, I can anticipate that she's going to need something before she has to verbalize that to me. Yep. And that's what it was like when I was down there is, you know, I would unload the dishwasher before it needed to be done because I knew that we were gonna to need to load it and that was just one less thing off of her mental list. And it was just sort of eye-opening to me that we we have lost this village. And, and it is great to have another set of eyes and another set of ears and mm -hmm. um, I really don't think that two people is enough. No, it's just yeah. not. It's not that our husbands are insufficient because our partners are very like, Hands on and, and yeah, um, but even two people can get burnt out yes. very easily. Like, <laughs> um, and and you know, in other cultures, and and even when I was a kid, both of us have had grandmothers living in our homes, or we, um, I guess, we lived in my grandmother's homes. Mm -hmm. and that it was more heard of back then, and they were way more hands on. I, you know, I walked to kindergarten from my great grandmother's house. Yeah, and my mom had that growing up. Um, mm -hmm. Like my husband had that growing up. Right, like, and I didn't. But that's not a thing anymore. Yeah. The, both of both of my husband's and my mother's work still yep and and it's so they can't you know they can't lend a hand for childcare and they're tired yeah yeah absolutely my parents aren't working so it's much easier for them to help and it's rare it's rare that people of our age have parents that are retired or retired not yeah yeah mm -hmm. right i think so we don't have anything special next week. I feel like we could close out last week with our <laughs> <laughs> promise of, you know, gifs and clips. And, yeah, from um, the road trip. No, I mean, we don't. Uh, 
And we also don't have like planned out far in advance what our episodes are going to be about. We kind of just figure it out as we go. So I don't know what next week is going to be about, but it will be interesting. Yeah, if you guys want to hear certain topics, let us know. Yeah. Comment away and send us messages. Yeah, we absolutely. Like, we like hearing from We're you. excited that a lot of people actually listened and people yeah. are interested and are following our pages. And um, yeah, so that's kind of cool. And we all, I'm sure we will like we're learning about this. We wanted to like get launched and see what people thought. Um, we'll get better equipment. We'll get better at our editing and all that good stuff. Um, I will try to speak louder. We know we're not experts. We also know our equipment <laughs> isn't top of the line. We're, um, we're, but we're, you know, we want, like I said, I wanted to see if anybody cared first. <laughs> yeah. Before I really invested any time, um, effort, money, all that stuff in this. But we have a lot of people that know like different things, um, that are like super helpful in terms of resources. Yeah. And so we're, like I, I'm sure that we're, we're hoping to bring you, you know, better quality content with time as we learn and like get into this more and whatnot. So um, hopefully the video component is interesting. I hope people like that. Um, we realized after our first episode that our voices are fairly similar. Yeah. And so <laughs> I think you probably s still can figure out like who's who. Obviously, we're not going to like. I don't think it makes sense for to introduce ourselves every time we talk to try right. to decipher that. But we thought like for those who can or want to watch the video, it might be helpful to see that. We also think that like it adds something to like understanding us and appreciating right. us like in terms of like having that visual aspect to it. So um, we hope that works out and that you like it. But yeah, we'll be back next week with something new and interesting. Like we said, there's a never ending like stream of consciousness just <laughs> constant constantness yeah all the time <laughs> so yeah so we'll see you guys next week then <laughs>